Shalom and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew class. Today I would like to speak to you about the system of seven. Seven spheres, seven days of the week, seven weeks that we count from Passover until Pentecost, seven cycles of letting the land rest, Shemitah, and so on. So I'll start and make little diagrams here. Is starting the upright we make one circle parallel to it on the left another one in the middle one and then another system of three dots together they make six and the seven is the kingdom heavenly kingdom so we start the first is grace from the right in Hebrew chesed The second from the left is Gevura, overcoming Gevura. In the middle we have beauty, in Hebrew Tiferet. Here, on the right side, we have eternity, eternity, which is Netzach in Hebrew. On the left, we have royalty, which is Hod. In Hebrew, in the middle, we have foundation. In Hebrew, is sod. And in the middle, in the bottom, we have malchut, heavenly kingdom. This is the diagram of the seven spheres. Now, this diagram fits almost everything that we are encounter in our realm of seven. We have seven days of the week. Again, in this, it's the same structure. Here we have day one, Sunday, day two, Monday, day three, Tuesday, day four, Wednesday, day five, Thursday, day six, Friday, day seven, Saturday. As we see in the first day or in the Sunday, is the day of the light and God said let shall be light and we see parallel between one and four because in the fourth day the great illuminators were created here at the left side of the tree 
we see parallel between Monday and Thursday. In Monday, we have separation of water. And in the fifth day, there is creation of the fishes which are under the water and the birds which are above the water. We also see parallel between the third day and the sixth day in which God says twice that it was good. And the seven days is resting. This is in the realm of days. Now we shall open another page here and see how does it work. In a system of weeks, when we count from Passover to Pentecost again, we make three dots and another three dots and one in the middle. And the first week when we count, we count in grace, second in overcoming, the third is beauty, forces eternity, royalty, foundation, and kingdom. When we start to count the Omer, we start in the first sphere of the upper right, which is grace. We count seven days here. And we move to overcoming to give voir, and there we count also seven days. And after they are finished, we count seven days of beauty. And then we move here to eternity to the right and we count seven days in eternity and seven days in royalty and seven days in foundation and seven days in kingdom and seven double seven is 49 plus one is 50 and then we have the Pentecost. The same counting happens in the cycles of Shemitah, Shemitah, Shemitah. Shemitah is when we drop down everything. Shemitah. We let the land rest after six years of cultivation six years we are cultivating the land six years one two three four five six and in the seventh year we let the land rest we don't cultivate the land the land continue to give fruits and what she she gives but we don't cultivate it and what comes out from the land, from the earth, is enough for the seventh year, eight and ninth, until we start again. So this is a cycle of Shemitah, dropping down the tools, dropping down tools. We, start, we, we are resting, the land is resting, we bring everything up. We have nothing to do. We did not create the world. This, um, I mean, considering the fact of Shemitah is admitting that we are not in charge here. Now, seven cycles. This uh, cycle of Shemitah happens every seven years. And when we count seven cycles of seven Shemitot, seven cycles of seven Shemitot, plus one, we reach the Jubilee year. This is the Jubilee. It's complete freedom. People returns to the root. In this manner, no one can accumulate wealth 
and exploit the other. Another system of seven that we have is the seven shepherds. We have seven shepherds and here again you can also draw with me three, another three and something parallel in the bottom. So we have first shepherd from the right is Abraham. He's for grace. Second is Isaac for overcoming on the left side of the tree, the side of fire. In the middle we have Jacob. On the right we have Moses. On the left we have Aaron. In foundation we have Joseph. And in the heavenly kingdom, we have David. Those are the seven shepherds. And every tabernacle, Sukkot, we hosting their qualities in our sukkah. The little hat, hat that we build at the end of the summers, the end of September, beginning of October, something like that. So, this was our little quick class about the system of seven. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week to come. Shalom. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlive.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.